Hello, welcome back to Pillux of Eternity mm. uh, with me and Pyrrhon Flex. Uh, our stronghold is under attack in 18 hours. Now, it took us 22 hours to get here, so I assume oh, yeah. we're not going to be able to get back in time. And the only That's person a good we have there is uh, Kana, and I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to handle it on his own. And I, I don't really feel like I want to control that fight manually because I don't think that's going to go any better. Yeah. So, Do I'm, we not have any troops there? I'm sure we have some troops. I don't. Well, I don't think we get like NPC mercenary guards. I don't think we built. I think I thought you did. I thought you got like a little barracks and stuff. I think you can build it. I don't think we've built it. Oh, uh, that sounds like us. I think you get you get benefits to defense. I think I you get less attackers the more you build in the keep, uh, or something like that, or they or they're weaker or something like that. Hmm. Um, uh -oh. There's a skeletal wizard up there about to cast a spell on me, but he seems to be on his own, and so I'm just gonna throw a fireball at him. Fucking boom! Didn't do anything. 19 burn damage. So it, well, it did graze him though. Uh, well, that'll do someone it. Someone punched him. I don't know what Sigani happened. Sigani just went and absolutely smashed Mrs. him. Mrs. Flax crits skeletal wizard for 29 pierce damage. There you go. And Sigani critted him too. Wow, the damage that was real. Fireball didn't really do much. So this is the last of this dungeon. Um, and it's one of these dungeons where I think... You see this... I think that skeleton was part of the pack, but he didn't pull. That original yeah. that wizard was part of the pack, but he didn't pull. Um, my guys need to figure out how to actually move forward. But these skeletons are, are made of... Made that of dog pathetic. is just standing there. Skeletons, honestly... I don't think skeletons would be very threatening in real life if you had to fight yeah. one. Because they, they're just bones, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> a human has bo a skeleton in them. Every yeah. human has a skeleton in there, you know, and therefore a skeleton must be automatically weaker than a human. And humans, because as you know, less... in these games are pretty weak, right? Mm. You're basically So you're playing... saying if you strip away everything but the bones, yeah. how scary can they be? But they're, they're magically animated. It's not lit. I mean, if it was just bones... There would be no muscles to animate them, so they are magical. I guess they wouldn't even and like hold together, would they at all? Anyway, well, gonna, no. I mean, it, it's I'm, magic. I'm going to auto resolve this stronghold right. thing. Um, and yeah, well, big hollow band is attacked. The Bailey was Bailey. destroyed. The oh, Western Barbican was God. destroyed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so I better rebuild that. Yeah. Uh, but I think I'm already building something else. Hang on, I'll, I'll try and press. Wait, it says there the Western Barbican bars passage. It didn't do a damn thing. Didn't did it. But maybe they came in around the back. I don't think we built all of the Barbicans. No, we didn't build an Eastern Barbican. That was the problem. I think that's a bit of a weakness of a keep, right? If you, you know, have one wall on one side, but not on the other side. They're like, if, oh. it's, half, if it's a half-assed keep, yeah. it can lead to problems, yeah. Unless, unless the attackers are too stupid or lazy to go around the side. But you assume that they would, they would figure that out. Who knows? It is it is weird to think of the fact that the best defense that people had come up with for oh, for a long time was just let's just build a building and stand inside it. In front of you looms the ghostly hollow image of the man who was present at your awakening. So, I oh this guy, too, I think he was the guy who used that weird machine. Do you remember? Yeah. Never really followed that quest. So he has voice acting. Yeah, this is real. So he's talking to. Ah, great. What made you decide to join our order? He's talking to me, from uh, like another life or something. The yeah. gods are just, and they care for their faithful. I think that speaks to. I don't know whether this is like a parallel universe or. It's hard to know, honestly. Or whether. Especially I'm... if you don't read any of the text that pops up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I find these mercenaries here, right, and they're not immediately aggressive, so I guess this is one of those times where you can talk your way through or if you're too stupid or don't have decent stats you just have to attack now remember with that keep before we were really glad that we backdoored it um mm. rather than going in through the front because otherwise we have to yeah. fight through so my opinion is if i can get away with not fighting people i'm gonna do it so yeah 100 percent. i intellect checked uh, it doesn't actually use the character that you run forward with. It uses um, your main character. And so my main character has a very high intellect, uh, Pyrrhon Fluis, uh, but not very high resolve. Um, however, there are these events that happen in the game sometimes where you have to do stuff. Like, do you remember when we went down that well? Um, mm. It kind of um, 
it brings up sort of checks and you can sometimes send different characters on those checks um, and they, they can use their own checks in that. And so if you don't think you're capable of doing something like climbing up a thing. Oh, back your cord. Those hooded fiends are nigh to be trusted. So, yeah, Aloth's been <laughs> taken over by... Um, by Billy, <laughs> Bi- Billy Connolly. By, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he channels the spirit of, uh, of Billy. Um, so you hear murmurs and charts on the other side of the door. Okay, a ritual of some sort is already ready, right? So I've got a choice here. Do I beckon my party to follow me? Do I continue yeah, alone? Yeah. Or do I retreat from the door? Now, I'm going to head in there alone, okay? Because I mm. think, you know, I've got to have a... Uh, I've got to have a meeting with the people from the temple of, of Wodica, right? But no. Uh, the woman's eyes narrow behind her mask as she takes notice of oh, your presence. Oh, shit. <laughs> and now I'm trapped in there. Uh, and now I haven't quick saved for ages, okay? Yeah, no, so you I'm haven't. like, shit. So it might have auto saved actually when I entered the door, uh, ent- entered the new le- level. So maybe it's Quick maybe save I'm okay. completed. Um, there, it did. Oh, I yeah, did quick save oh, at some point. Mm. Thank God. But. In any case, this is how we. This is how I'm going to open the door, but they just shut the door. <laughs> I, I think I opened the door with both characters, and it ended up shutting the door. Anyway, yeah. Pyrrhus Fluis is basically dead straight away. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're fighting this one with five. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. It's the classic D and D. Get him in the door. Get him in the door, Diablo style. Yeah. What they're going to do? So I'm going to just drop a few heal bombs on the entrance and hope for the best. Um, I think they can tank, and Aloth has got enough spells that you know we're just gonna just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna cast that that might spell. Have one one of my guys on each of these these guys and knock them down. Boom. And uh, yeah, I think I think this is gonna go fine. I'm a little bit panicked about it uh, because it might not go fine. But yeah. Just to just to, I, to I let think you we'll know, be all right. it goes fine. <laughs> 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 Spoilers, it goes fine. So we can, we can just worry about something else while this is happening and not have all that unnecessary tension. Um, Thank God. Honestly, I'm not that excited and I'm not that scared because it's humans again, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are they going to do? If it's a giant, like, fucking eyeball monster, yeah, shit, you don't know. I'm gonna, I don't know how it's going to happen, you know? Or if it's something I've never seen before, you know, I, I'd be worried. But humans... God, these are some pretty serious spells going on here. I know. I'm just going to burn everything because I think I'm, I'm one. I'm one man down. So I'm, I'm just going to just going to cast a bit of everything and see what. No, happens. I think you're right too. Um, the shrouded man. There's some shrouded man so, men there's here. There's a pub called the Shrouded Man somewhere. I'm sure. Yeah, this does sound like a good pub name. If you were to open a pub, what would you call it? That's a very good question. Would you I go would with say something classic? The, the Shrouded Man. No, would you, I don't know. Would you um, rename it? Because it might be already called something like the Queen's Legs or whatever. Or... Yeah, I, I actually don't like it when they rename a pub and they give it a poncy name. Like, a, a, a pub should have a good solid name. Something involving the head or the arms, something like that. You know, something... Or one of those pubs that's things like... Uh, there's a pub near my, where my wife grew up called The Cock and Bottle. Right. Which makes me think, that that's a story right there. Yeah, Have you because heard the, uh, the you what about say, the cock and bottle? Do you want to go down to the cock? You know, everyone says that. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, they always say it with a wry sort of smile on their face. Exactly. It's exactly. cheery. You know, it's nice. It's very, very British, I think. Yeah. It's something that even your nan won't, you know, be upset if you if you say, do you want to go down to the cock? They, you know, that no one will take offence at that. It's an excuse to say the word cock in polite company it is. as well. It, any excuse to be cheeky is, is, is a good excuse. Ah, oh, I'm enjoying this. So, uh, generally, um, I've been playing quite a few games lately. Uh, you've been playing a lot of City Skylines, right? Yeah. Um, which, I, I, I guess lately I've, I've, I've got a scroll of insect swarm. By the way, I thought I'd just throw that in there and see what. Oh, it did. zap it! Um, Let's see what it does. So we're chucking a bunch of insects over there just to irritate oh, them. Oh God, look at them! They just, they just. Uh, <laughs> Just annoying. <laughs> Just annoying. I think it's mostly a debuff rather than a damage spell. Mm. Um, I don't think they actually like killer bees. Although one of the things I would there's, like there's to little do... dragonflies in there. Oh, ah, yeah. Dragonflies. One of the things I would like to do is summon more like minions. You know, I, I mm. kind of like summoning skeletons. And I, I, stuff I like, like that. summoning, but shit I, I haven't actually. Meant... I don't think there's many spells that seem to do it in this game. But but maybe who knows? Maybe at high level I can summon a fire elemental. Yeah, that um, kind of stuff. 
but I, yeah, I do that. I did that a lot in Divinity. Um, yeah, that was a big part of Divinity. Was the um, summon the right kind of elemental. So, so spider, giant spiders. I always like summoning them. Divinity's a fucking fantastic game, and I, I yeah, really want to do the new one. So maybe we can we can do that together because I did play that yeah, with Sips, no, yeah. but me and Sips kind of um, we, we we I think we got we got into a similar situation as 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 what happened on this series. We were just doing other stuff, and yeah, we ran out of a time to do it and then we forgot about it and then, then it was sort of too long so we didn't really want to come back yeah no it is we thought very we long we wouldn't be able to understand where we were but I figured I was just gonna I figured I couldn't mess this game up too much if I dive back into it especially with all the AI changes so later on I um, turn on the AIs and it kind of makes the, the fights a little bit more uh, smooth because they, they know what they're doing let them let them be the professional warriors that they are. Yeah, we I mean, all... you still have to do a lot, actually. Mm. But um, it, it's it's kind of less punishing because if you forget to choose an action on someone, they usually just pick one, and that's. Do you know what I mean? That's actually something that, that, that I'm very lazy, right? Yeah. I'm not going to micromanage every single person for every second, and so if they if I don't really care what Sagani's doing, she'll just do her own thing and and good. So, so be it. So yeah, that. This shrouded woman, I killed her, and then I've gone in her brain. And there's three things, okay, in her brain. There's the tower, the prisoner, and the ruins. And she says the tower is somewhere in Deer, Deer Ford okay. or something, something like that. Um, and there's a prisoner and some ruins and loads of junk. And so, and that's the leaden key oh. there. Look at that. Ooh. So the leaden key are this group of assassins or whatever. Sure. Anyway, I've, um, I have to find the place... Of misery and madness. So to, it basically gives you three quests: travel to to Deerford Village, find the tower, find the prisoner, find the ruins. Okay. Um, and now I'm just gonna see if I can. So many quests! My God. See if I can raise everything. But that th at this point, this is where now I can actually uh, go to a, a unlock the White March. So I can start the White March expansion now, and uh, and I will go head head straight back home. And do that, uh, which I'm excited for. So yeah, you've been playing uh, City Skylines a lot. I saw. Yeah. Have you played the new expansion? I've got for Snowfall. It? Yeah. I actually I didn't realize you have to start a snow map. Okay. So I, I was playing it on Twitch the other day, just with the default sort of. Thinking when everything. is it going to snow? Yeah, and it, like there's a little temperature gauge, and I thought ah probably when it's winter and everything, but we went right through winter and it was. An even ten degrees at even at the worst point. So and no like, one okay. told you. <laughs> no, no, they were they were shout, shouting as usual. My oh, Twitch right. is very angry. So there's lots of capital letters and shouting. But um, in the end, I just uh, I started another one just on my own time in the snow, and uh, it's quite cool. You've got to build snow plows and stuff, and you can heat your uh, your houses, and it's cool. But I've I've hit that point where I've got my basic city everything's fine but now we need to start worrying about the deeper infrastructure and it's so expensive and i just tried to do it and i completely cocked it up and wasted a ton of money so we got to go back to the drawing board oh fuck me. sorry i'm i'm getting a bit of um a bit of exposition here from a ghost oh yeah, yeah and i'm no, like course. all right thanks ghost i'm not really interested in what you have to say <laughs> so I, i'm just gonna hopefully get rid of him okay good um so it feels like I'm back in some sort of original. Uh, it feels like I've come out back in the starter zone here, but actually, this is the this is our house, isn't it? The, the main town. There's oh no, and Aloth's going to give us an explanation of um, of of his problem. So basically, I also have an awakened. He has an awakened soul. Ah. Like so we're yours, like soul brothers. That shares my Sweet. senses and my skin. Um, himself manifest but this is different okay times. he he kind of sometimes gets possessed by this this woman basically I'm sorry I <laughs> but her name well, is Isselmere <laughs> now she sounds so like Billy Connolly yeah uh, oh, come on. I'm Isselmere hello rash impulses um, and feeble faculties because he's all posh she right and Vulcan and like like Spock or something right listen. hey this one's fed um, to boil Hard but to get over anything. Spock is basically a space elf, right? Yeah, no, I think that's reasonably fair, yeah. And he's even got the pointy ears, you know, of the, yeah. the space elves. And he's all intelligent and all this. Aloth is is all standard elfish, but he, he just occasionally turns into a angry northerner. 
I don't know what Isselmir is. I don't know whether she was a dwarf or whatever. Um, but he, he obviously has been a bit shunned because of his mental problem. Yeah. Um, listen, it's... Poor guy. If he goes, if he hulks out into an angry Scotsman, I'm sure that'll work out. Anyway, yeah. this is his personal quest line. And it's to find, to talk to, um, talk to someone to see if we can, we can see if we can cure his problem. I guess he doesn't oh, like it. You gave him a, yeah, if there's time. That's that's the reply you gave him. Not, of course I'll help you, friend. I, You're just like, eh, if well, we have time. I didn't want to let him down, but I want to get on with the White March. You know, I'm, mm. I'm up, I want to go up and I want to explore this this mysterious place called Durgan's Battery, which I've heard all about. So let me give you a little bit of um, what I know about Durgan's Battery so far, just from not from nothing, is that it was like a dwarven stronghold, okay, all right. up in the north. Um, and something happened. They fell out with each other. I can't quite remember um, what precisely happened up there, but we'll find out. And uh, it's apparently like been locked up for a long time. Lots of adventurers go up there and don't come back. So mm. it sounds like the perfect place for us to go crack into and find yeah. treasure. And I think the great you thing about... You say people don't come back. Let's go. Let's pack up Exactly, because, you know, it'll be nice to find out what's happened to them. And surely if they didn't come back they've got they left all of their stuff up there too right yeah yeah good call it's like all sorts of their loot as well as the loot that they were looking for if indeed there Have is you, any by the, just go, going back to the thing all. about vulcans right because yeah. spock was super good in combat and he was he was really strong and you know he had the vulcan nerve pinch and everything like that elves yeah. in any fantasy setting are always incredibly good at fighting they always shoot the bows and they're so good at sword fighting and everything it's it's like a it's like a pure fantasy for nerds that you can be intellectual and unemotional and uh, and beautiful and amazing at combat at the same time. It's like elves and and Vulcans in that sense. I think are, are not fantasy in the you know fantasy setting sense, but in the pure fantasy, the idea that you can just be amazing at everything. Uh, but oh, you're shunned because people don't understand you and they're so uncouth and rough. I just feel like it's someone no, no, someone came up with that because they got bullied at school. Oh. <laughs> Women love it too, though, remember? Yeah, they do like the elves. So I'm back at Cade Nua, which is my... And this is Chair Gran. So she's got a message from a place called Stalwart. Okay, Renan Guild, the mayor. Oh, her, yeah. Chair mum. Chair mum. Well, she's a lady. Stalwart is located within she... the mountain range known as the White March, okay. which puts its several days' journey northeast of here. You'll want to wear something warm. Right. So, Stalwart is a mining community, which girl, uh, and at one time this, this they enjoyed a great than I deal could. of influence. <laughs> Renning Guild hopes to reclaim old glories, I expect. Uh, so, she's... It uh, seems she's intent on gaining access to Durgan's battery. Which I told you about. And she's offering quite the reward to anyone who can get inside. Yeah. See, I've, I've got Law 4, I know all about Durgan's Oh, yeah. Ah, the very battery. same. The all manner of, of people Durgan have been Steve. trying to infiltrate the keep for years. Our own Earl was much taken with the story of the Battery's fall. There are many legends concerning the Battery. As the Earl told it, the Dwarves fought amongst themselves, each seeking to use the Battery to further his or her own ambitions. Is it like an AA? Maybe Greed like and cruelty brought down AAA. the Battery. Yeah, and now the I, was just about, of those I was thinking of a battery who... joke, but it's terrible. It, it wasn't Whatever coming. happened, the Battery has been impenetrable ever since. <laughs> A shame. I don't doubt that there are great treasures still within those halls. Okay, so uh, Edda, Edda said he, he knew a fellow who claimed to have some Durgan steel once. We swapped it for a rusty one. Oh, it's terrible. She ended up trying to cut his I cut should his mention off. that <laughs> among those rumoured to have answered Renning Guild's summons is a certain group I believe you may have an interest in. Really? Followers of Woodaka intent on oh, reaching no. Stalwart and the Leather Battery. Key. I do not know what they seek there, but I thought it worth mentioning, given your interest in the ruins at Defiance Bay. So that's why I had to finish that quest. Right. Now that I've delivered Renin Guild's message, okay. a mercenary band has Whatever. been sighted to the northeast. I believe they mean to take Consul Hot's tower, and I don't expect the Archmage will go quietly. 
Oh, for uh, flip's sake. Consul Horn, <laughs> one of the greatest wizards of our generation. <laughs> yes, it's Consul Horn. <laughs> the Torn Bannermen are a deadly fighting force, and Consul Hot himself has sent many travelers to their graves. I would caution you to stay clear of the region if you do travel to the White March. Okay. It is not that I doubt your courage, my lord, but Consul Hot alone boasts power oh, of a different Hall, scale Hall. altogether to those foes you have faced thus far. Oh, come Given on, Given more time, perhaps, you will match him. So... If the Bannermen succeed in their efforts, I fear they may turn their attention to Cad Nua. I will keep you apprised of the situation, my lord. All right, thanks. Thanks, Chair Mum.